Cheese Hero Zero is my favorite guy. Today we will be looking at the game that has led to one of the biggest RPG franchises in the world. The Final Fantasy franchise has been around for over 30 years and is still going strong to this date. With a plethora of main titles including two MMOs, plus several spin-offs such as the Saga series, Mana series, and Kingdom Hearts, as well as movies and manga, it is easy to see how it has reached so many people in the world. I have a new special guest with me today. He is a gamer, streamer, a nephew, Brayden, aka Optimal Melon Position, aka Melon. How you doing today? I'm doing great. Yeah. Kingdom Hearts is a spinoff of Final Fantasy? Yeah. I thought it was a completely different thing. Well, think about all the Final Fantasy characters that are in that Well, they're game. only in the second the one. Crossover. No, they're in the first one. They are? I didn't yeah. know they were in the first one. Yeah, there's several. I'm like, yeah, Yuffie's in the first one. Um... What's his name? Uh, to be fair, the only the only Final Fantasy characters I know are Black Mage, Cloud, um, Aerith, and Sephiroth. Well, you fight. You can fight Sephiroth in the first one in the Coliseum. I I knew that. Oh, yeah. I, well, I didn't know that part. Yeah. I, I knew that you do fight Sephiroth. Yeah, in the Coliseum. And I, I know that him. Sephiroth and Cloud are different in Kingdom Hearts. Yeah. Well, yeah. They. I mean, Kingdom Hearts kind of did a little yeah. slight because like but. Sephiroth is Clouds other half or something it's in weird. kingdom hearts uh, yeah see, I didn't it's know weird part. oh my moogle fell down <laughs> oh my little moogle <clears throat> so how this works in the jrpg impressions is first i'll go over a little bit of the back out mm -hmm. background info um, then we'll look at like box arts uh, packaging or any kind of advertisements things like that i can find that i've gathered and just kind of go over it look at it and see what you, you know see what you said and it kind of sets the the mode for what things were like yeah. then versus looking at them now because you know these are like nintendo games and then after that we'll play some you know play a little bit of the game and get your impressions see That's what sick. you think about it and this is the first final fantasy the very first one very first on the nes because it's been ported to pretty much everything by now but what did it originally like, release on originally on the mx2 but that i think that was a J J japan only thing so in america we didn't get it until nintendo so which is what i grew up playing so so the original release date was December 18th, 1987 in Japan, uh, published by Square. And then in North America, we got it in July 12th, 1990, and it was published by Nintendo of America. Jeez, three year difference. Final Fantasy was invented slash created by Hironobu Sakaguchi. Uh, he is known for designing games like, uh, you know, pretty much all the main Final Fantasy titles, Romancing Saga games, Chrono Trigger, Chrono Cross, Super Mario RPG, Xenogears, Parasite Eve 1 and 2, Kingdom Hearts, Blue Dragon, Lost Odyssey, The Last Story, and a whole bunch of other things. Hiromichi Tanaka, Akitoshi Kawazu, and Koichi Ishii were also designers on the game. The graphics were done by Yoshitaka Amano, which is very recognizable in his art style and character art. It's pretty distinct. Most people know him from the Final Fantasy games mm -hmm. and other games as well. The composer of Final Fantasy was Nobu Omatsu and he composed music for pretty much almost every game that Sakaguchi created. So you're talking about like the Final Fantasy games, Final Fantasy Legend games, Romancing, Saga, Chrono Trigger, you know, Blue Dragon, etc, etc. Sakaguchi explained that the game was his personal last ditch effort in the game industry. Had the game not sold well, he would have quit the business and gone back to his university. He proposed the RPG to Square, but they didn't approve it until after they saw the massive success of Enix's RPG, Dragon Quest. Sakaguchi was right. Final Fantasy was a big hit, making Square a lot of money and quickly spawning Final Fantasy II, which was not a sequel, but instead a new game and story. The Final Fantasy series quickly became the second most popular RPG franchise in Japan after Enix's Dragon Quest. So I have a question. Yeah? And it's not about Final Fantasy 1. It's yeah. just about the series in general. Yeah. So every game, there's a new, like, main, there's new characters? Pretty much up until, up until 10. Because 10 was the first one that spawned an actual direct sequel, which was 10-2. So yeah, so 1 through 9, 
it was a new story, new character, new story, new character, new story, new character. Mm -hmm. And because originally that was never meant to have more, they, he was just going to make the one mm -hmm. game. Yeah. But it, because it was so successful, they're like, well, let's make another one, new character, new story. And then same thing, the third, the fourth. So then what makes Seven so popular? That is probably super popular because of the time it came out the system it came out on and just everything about it, like it being, um, you know, it's first, you know, 3D polygons, which, you know, now that seems dated, but at the time it was amazing. The story was cool and the characters were cool, you know. Um, you had a lot of people, there were tons of advertising, that was probably the thing, yeah, people advertised it everywhere. So you had a lot of people <clears throat> who probably never played any RPGs or JRPGs. Mm -hmm saw this game like on tv or in advertisements like oh this is cool and they got it and they tried it and all of a sudden they became rpg fans you know so it's a lot of stuff like that I, I think but being on the playstation being that it was everywhere you know it was easy to easy to get a hold of all right back on track sakaguchi wanted a title that would be abbreviated to ff which sounded good in the japanese language i guess it was pronounced fu fu if i'm saying that right Originally, it was going to be titled Fighting Fantasy, but they were concerned over a trademark conflict with a tabletop RPG with that name. That looks like absolute chaos. Yeah, so this one was, you know, a game that was out at the set, a tabletop RPG that was out in America at the time called Fighting Fantasy. So they were like, uh, maybe, you know, maybe we don't want to keep <laughs> use the same name. Also, the word final was a famous word in Japan. Sakaguchi settled on that. But he said that any title that created the FF abbreviation would have done. Akatoshi Kawazu came up with the idea to use a character creator at the beginning of the game rather than a specific party of heroes. Oh, this first one has a character creator? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll show you oh, a little sick. bit. Oh, sick! Yeah, sort of. Not, not a character creator as far as you're not changing the way people look, but you're allowed to pick what characters you want in your party oh, based on okay. like job slash okay. class. So, yeah, okay. that's what I mean by that. He wanted people to be able to make their party with whatever characters they wanted, even if it was a totally unbalanced. I personally know that this allowed replay value for many people, and people would try to beat the game with various party formations. So, for instance, you know, you could do all fighters. That's not that probably that hard. You just don't have any magic, you know. Or you can, the worst one that I've ever heard was all white mages. Like, I don't know if anyone's ever beat that before, but that was like one of those challenges people would set like, Hey, I bet you can't beat Final Fantasy with all white mages. And why is that so difficult? Because they have like no defense, no health. All they can do is oh. cast like healing based. <laughs> okay. I mean, they can. There's a couple attack spells they have, but it's mostly healing based spells. So it's mostly like them trying to hit bad guys with hammers and have no armor or anything. You know. Ooh. So it's not. I don't, I don't know if anyone's ever beaten it before like that. But you know, back then games could be hard and could be unbalanced and it's just as you as a player you just fumbled through it and like oh this doesn't work let me restart the game and try again you know mm -hmm. or yeah you beat the game with you know these four characters well now i didn't get to play a couple of the other ones so let me restart and swap out and see how i you know how i do with those ones got it, got it got it got it yeah hiroyuki ito designed the battle system which was the beginning of a genre defining turn-based system he hadn't played any rpgs before and was inspired by american football where the groups of characters were lined up on either side of the screen and battled with strategies. So you had, you know, the enemies on one side and your, your good guys or your, your party on the other side. And that was back when they were on the right, weren't they? Yeah, your team was on, your people were on the right, bad guys were on the left. That was like completely <clears throat> backwards. Well, now a lot of times it's just 3D and you just move around. So Well, I'm saying for like, because some people do try to recreate the old sprite-based stuff. Oh, yeah. And a lot of them put, like, flip it. Yeah, I guess it depends on which game it is. Yeah. Well, I mean, a lot of the HD 2D games are still you're on the right. Yeah, because so, I'm. I mean, I'm just popping off my head older games I played that followed this style forward, which was there was most of them at the time, and it was always usually always good guys on the right, from what I can remember. Until it started changing, where you know either they had like the 2D linear stuff, then it was like you could have been coming from this side, and then when it went to 3D stuff, yeah, I mean even like Final Fantasy VII stuff, you were still on this side even in 3D. On the right. Yeah. Yeah, until they went to like, you know, full open 3D where it didn't matter. You were just where you are and yeah. where you are. But yeah, I think a lot of time, I think most of them. I mean, like you said, there's probably a few that did that, but most of the time I think you ended up being that way. Here's another cool fact for you. Final Fantasy also has a lot of inspiration from the Dungeons and Dragons series. Oh, sick. Such as um, m most of the, or I don't say most of, 
a lot of the bestiary in Final Fantasy is taken from first edition of D&D, which included things like Mind Flayers, Beholders, um, and even the D&D's version of Bahamut. Really? Mm-hmm. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, Bahamut. Holy crap. Meeting Bahamut in this game is actually really cool. It's like one of the best parts. Um, it's about halfway through the game, though. Uh, there's also like spell slots and spell levels. There are also monster weaknesses, such as zombies being weak to fire, fire monsters being weak to ice spells, etc. Yeah. Sick. That's awesome. Sakaguchi also drew inspiration from several of the Miyazaki films, uh, anime films. For instance, uh, inspiration for airships came from Castle in the Sky, and inspiration from Chocobos, which weren't actually introduced until Final Fantasy II, uh, came from the horse claws in the movie Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind. I don't know if you've seen any of those movies, but... Castle of the Sky sounds very familiar. Yeah. So, more interesting facts. Many of the magical names are shortened since the program only allowed four character spaces for names. You know, you're on old hardware, so... So, the English version had several abbreviations, such as Flare being changed to Nuke, which actually sounds cooler. This is a lot cooler, actually. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then Thunder was changed to Lit, which was short for Lightning. So that's something that, you know, in the later games, everyone knows Flare and, you know, Thunder and stuff like that. Yeah. In the early games, the, well, the original game, it was like some of them were changed. I, I'm, yeah, because I, I know like a lot of old consoles like that, they couldn't have many letters. Yeah. I, I know that's how like Knuckles got his nickname. Oh, really? Because in, in the original, I think anyways, it may have been like his, like, oh, what are they called? You know, the, when it's just the letters you use for your name? Like the, like the first the letter. Conji or Connor. Or, oh, wait, what? No, like the first letter of oh, your like name. Oh, like acronyms or whatever? I guess, but it's oh, like... that's the right word. It's like that, but for your full name. It takes the first letter of each of your okay. names. Yeah. I don't, I don't know what it's called right now. I'm drawing a blank, but I know it's what like a, it is. It's not an abbreviation. Yeah, but... Um, I think it's acronym. I, I, I don't know. They either did that, or they abbreviated his name to Nux. Oh. With an X. <laughs> and I'm pretty, that's sure that's, cool. I'm pretty sure that's how he got his nickname. Nux. That's actually kind of cool. Also, with Nintendo of America publishing Final Fantasy 1 in North America, there were some censorships. They had a policy that prohibited games from featuring any religious imagery or references of death. So, for instance, in the Japanese version, there were churches and tile sets depicting crosses and stars of David. But in the North America release, these were swapped out, and churches became clinics. Also, the spell kill was renamed to rub. That, that's awful. The, yeah, that's I, terrible. I just remember always not even knowing that as a kid, just thinking like, I didn't know when the rub spell, I just assumed it was like, you're erasing the enemy. Like, you know, as a kid, that's what I would think. I'm like, rub. I don't know what that means. Like, well, I didn't know what that was short for. So I would think it was like, you're erasing. I them. know they, I know that they could have used five letters. They could have just put erase. No, they had four. It was four for even. Was, your, it, was it really only four? Yeah, even when your characters, when we build characters, you'll see you can only put four letters in there. Really? Yeah. That's okay. Because I think it had to do with how many pixel spaces they had. I, I guess know? that that does make sense. And it was a Super Nintendo. That yeah. does make sense. And they had well, a certain amount of space they can save the data, you know? Well, in that case, it could just need it gone. Or something. I don't know. I don't know. Rub just sounds terrible. Yeah. Like I said, I, in my head, I was just like, you think you're just erasing the enemy, you know? There's a part in the game when you do meet Bahamut, mm -hmm. and that's my favorite part, because you basically turn in an item, and he advances all your classes, which is... The first time that I know of that something like that happened um, and playing this game and all of a sudden all your guys advance is awesome. So like your fighter becomes a knight or your thief becomes a ninja, your black, be uh, black belt becomes a master, and then all the mages become wizards. So red, red mage becomes red wizard, etc. And the sprites will change so they look badass all of a sudden, you know. So like, you know how the, like, the black mage always had like the hat? You yeah, know, you can't see his face. You just have two eyes, so it just would look like it was black or shadowy. Yeah, like the blue robe. Yeah, the blue robe. Well, then when he became the wizard, uh, his his hood he has like a hood that comes back. He's got like his kind of spiky hair, and he just looks like he's got an attitude all really? of a sudden. Yeah, he's like his robe wow. change. I thought he was like some weird creature thing. Well, I think that was more that they did that later, like in Final Fantasy IX with Vivi. They made him like uh -huh. an actual like you know like uh, an item, you know, like a doll. But uh, but early on it was just yeah they they kind of just you, if you even characters that can change classes in the, some of the Final Fantasies once they switch into Final once they switch from whatever they were into a black mage they just always had a shadow or a dark thing you know they just stuck with that style but yeah so that was one of the best things um, some just general memories me playing the game you know going back to I don't even know how old I was 
I started off not even playing the game because my dad and my older brother would rent it and they would play it and I would just sit there and watch, especially my dad. And he had the Nintendo Power Strategy Guide. I still have it to this day. Sick. It's all tore up. It's been... Oh, there's well, a map. Yeah, well... It's all tore up. I mean, we got notes in here. Little notes. But this uh, this came with the Nintendo Power. When you used to get Nintendo Power. Yeah, all the enemies are on there. So you can see what oh their God. HP, you know, is. And I think it tells you, like, if they cast certain spells and stuff. Good Lord. But look how worn out this is. It's been completely taped and yeah. stuff. But I would literally sit there with my dad. He, uh, you know, he'd be on in his room playing this game. And I'd sit there and just, like, have this guy in front of me. And be like, okay, uh, the next town you could buy a short sword, you know. And <laughs> I would just sit there and look at it and go. Yeah, I see what you mean by it. It's got a bit of wear and tear. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and I'd be like, okay, this is the guy you're fighting next. Even though he knew because he'd already played it probably a handful of times, you know. But I would just sit there and just watch him and just absorb the fantasy world. Because, again, at the time, there was nothing like this, you know, besides Dragon Quest, which we had that too at the time. It was Dragon Warrior in America, but... You know, it's like you just sit there and be like, look, this is the first, not boss, but the first major fiend boss. And I would sit there and be like, okay, he's got, he's got 400 HP and he uses these spells. And, you know, and my dad would just, you know, he would just kind of like play. <laughs> he just let me pretend I'm helping him. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then in my head, I'd just be like making up my whole, you know, my whole story of how this works and stuff. <laughs> So you just, you know, when you're a kid, you have a big fantasy. So you're, you know, use your imagination f to fill in all the gaps. Like, you know, you look at the pixels, but you make it all something else. You know what I mean? So that was fun. And then, then the other part of the story is, uh, once I got a little bit older, it was still my favorite. Like Final Fantasy became one of my favorites. I didn't even know what the term RPG was or that that was a, a genre or anything at the time. I didn't know that until I was like in fourth or fifth grade, but I'd been playing those games throughout like all that time. And, um, but yeah, one of my older brother's friends was selling his, uh, Final Fantasy game. Um, and he, I don't know, I don't know how I found out. I think he just told me cause I was just super into it. And we, at, at the time we didn't have, we just kept renting cause the games used to be super expensive. I mean, they're still yeah. expensive they're, now. Yeah, they're still really expensive. But games now that are 15, $60 were still 15, $60 then, but the inflation is oh, different. So if you think about it, $60 went in the nineties was like, so much more than it is now, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? Compared to how much money you actually made and stuff. Yeah. Or and being a kid and not making any money. So you might get one game for Christmas, you know, and you play that all year, you know. Or you might get one for your birthday and play it all year. Where now it's like you get a couple, you know, or especially when you get a job and you just buy whatever you want. But yeah. he told me he was selling the game and I was like, how much? He said, I'm selling for $15. And I'm like, and of course I'm a kid, I have no money. So I'm just like, okay, don't sell it. Give me, give me some time. <laughs> and I went and told my parents and I was like, I need... To make fifteen dollars, I didn't make allowance or anything, so I was like, "Just let me somehow make 15 So my parents were like, "Just mow the lawn and you know for a week, and I'll give you the money." So I told him, I was like, "Don't sell it. I'm gonna get it," <laughs> because I was so afraid. Because they were older. He was like six, you know, years older than me at the time, you know. So I literally mowed the lawn like I don't know twice or something, and helped around the house or whatever. Got the money in like dollars and quarters and nickels and dimes, and just gave him, like a bag of money and got the game. So that was my story of getting eventually buying final fantasy instead of us <laughs> renting it every once in a while for a week because you know you'd rent the game for a week it was like five bucks a week or something back then so yeah. all right so this part we're going to look at some some items and just talk about it you know get some impressions and again more just set the set the tone for where we are what is that this is the original uh box art for the first final fantasy game it's the box art yeah that was, and what what system was this for? The that Super was Nintendo? that was that was the NES or yeah, that's NES. Sorry. Of oh, the NES. Yeah, Nintendo or in that case would be the the Famicom, because they call the Famicom like Family Computer short. It, it doesn't look bad, but it it like, it, it looks bland and not bland at the same time. Man, to me it looks amazing because back then the Nintendo the Nintendo boxes we got when. We actually that's, got them. They were not nearly as like that's fair. detailed. Like the, the black one with the sprite on it? Yeah, stuff would be a lot more, yeah, they'd be a lot more simplified. And that's, we'll get to that here in a second. Too. That's fair. But here's, just to give you like visual experience, this would this was the Japanese release box art, which this is Yoshitaka Amano's art on here. Look how much detail there is and stuff. Yeah, nah, now that I'm seeing it in like a better light, I can see there's like a lot more detail than I thought yeah. there was. All right, the next one is the back. So, you know, nothing crazy, but you basically are going to see a couple screen grabs 
and it's cool like on this screen grab you see the uh enhanced characters not the starting characters the ones that got their job class enhanced by bahama <laughs> i don't know what it says because it's on japanese but there's a back of it just to give you an idea and look at the actual cart Oh, that's that's cool. Yeah, that's really sick. That's cool. They put the actual nice artwork right on the yeah, car. That's really cool. Here's ours, which at the time again, that's not bad. Yeah, at the time, every everything seemed to do it this way. Like um, Japanese when they were doing these RPG games and stuff, and even other games. But the ones I've been looking at for the past few videos is like they put out some really cool. Usually, it's colorful or a lot of nice illustration. You know, the artwork and stuff, and then you get. When it's released in America, it's like here's more of a medieval style. You know what I mean? Realistic like, looking. Yeah, like you know, less yeah. less anime, more medieval art. Yeah. Which I think. Well, I mean, that was kind of the thing at the time. That's that's the thing they were trying to like. You know, this is what hey the Americans like this style of fantasy, where we like this yeah, style. Yeah, no, we changed a lot. I mean, well, heck, now. Just, just look at Mega Man. Oh God. yeah, Mega Man was awful. Oh my God, that was another they one. They just gave him a gun. Trash. They didn't even give him like his little arm cannon. No, he just had a gun. Yeah. Oh, it was terrible. From what I, from what I remember, it's, is the person who did it did it fast and had no idea what the game was about at all. Like didn't play it. Um, just kind of was like told something, and he had to come up with the the cover for, for that. This box art. No, Mega for Man. Mega Man One. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's that's. So they basically were like. Hey, this is a dude who shoots people and has a helmet or whatever, you know. Um, and that's ba I don't even know how much information he had. It was just like you have to create this, and it needs to be done by tomorrow. <laughs> and you've never played the game and don't know anything about it. It wasn't even like, hey, there's robots, and you can just blast that's, through my hand cannon. That's terrible. So that's why no. the American release of that cover was so bad, and they had to fix it in the next, you know two and three and so forth okay so anyways back to this oh my gosh you know here final fantasy enter a whole new realm of challenge and adventure you know very kind of medieval style or if you want to look at it as like a dnd style you can see that kind of yeah you know swords axes that, i mean that's probably where they got the inspiration from because they took a lot of other things from dnd and then the back of ours still a couple screen grabs dragons and broadswords mystery and adventure final fantasy has them all so that's kind of cool they show you like this is the the map of the world some other screen grabs and then this was just you know back <laughs> back in the day everything came with stuff so you had a small manual you had a map you know maybe it was a starter a little starter gu guides and stuff in there but just having like the map of the world with the monsters which you actually saw when i opened this up that's yeah. what fell out uh having some maps of some of the dungeons in here you know what i mean that's cool so yeah you got more than just a game and i know a lot of games nowadays could really benefit from that yeah now it's like, well, if you want that, you got to pay extra for special editions, you know? Yeah. This one was an ad, 1987 ad that was in a magazine. I don't know what magazine because it was in Japanese, but still, it's cool. You get an idea like you're flipping through whatever this magazine is and whew, big full spread makes, I mean, to me, I'd be like, I want this game right now. I don't know what it is, but look at this. I want it. <laughs> I'm, I'm just now realizing it, but that artwork for the character right there yeah. in the blue mm -hmm. looks very similar to the first final Fan or first uh, dragon quest yeah protagonist. i can see yeah i could see some similar it's, it's got the same like horns on the helmet well it's got the cape it's got the blue armor i'll say it's yeah it's probably just because different you know drawing and stuff but yeah i can see that and this most people now recognize as like they call it, they just call this character the hero of light because he was used later in other games and this you know they use this as the you know the guy that you would play as not in those games but i'm saying like um like in a uh, final fantasy like dissidia games and stuff where you fight fighting games mm -hmm. i don't know if you're playing those uh but instead of like you instead of like okay are you a fighter or a white mage you know i mean they were just like here's the hero of life yeah. he's the main character like no matter who you chose technically here's the representation of it so they used him as like the Final Fantasy one representation later, but anyways, yeah. So it shows you know airship and some other stuff in here. It's kind of cool. It's just nice. It's a nice spread. This is the next ad that I got. Ooh. Also 1987. So another drawing by Yoshitaka Amano. This. I like uh, his art style. I really oh, do like yeah. his art style. A lot of people do. It's very like I said. It's very unique, and you know when you see it, you know it's him. And he's done lots of other stuff. He's done like some manga and anime and whatever, but. Mostly, people are just like, Final Fantasy. That's the guy that does the Final Fantasy artwork. <laughs> I think this guy here is supposed to be uh, Chaos, who's like the main, main villain 
in the game at the end. So I think that's who that's supposed to be drawing of. And again, some screen grabs, and this is all in Japanese, so I have no idea what it says. Another ad that I found. This one's kind of cool because um, on the left side here, it shows like some of the gear, like weapons and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, and then it shows you the some of the actual people who made the game, like down here. Oh, that's the, like, that's sick. Yeah, like, uh, yeah, like the um, programmer, you know, stuff like that. Designer programmers. Who's, I'm, I'm just not seeing it, but who's the lady in the glass or whatever that is? I I think cuz we we got the main guy that's the hero of light and then I don't know but my guess is that that's like the princess but you save her early in the game so it might be the princess that you save that's like that's toward the beginning of the game though so I don't know I don't remember I thought you just said it was at the early in the game Yeah toward the beginning of early in the game toward the beginning of the game you save the princess Oh so that's why I'm saying that's more than likely that's her but it's not like, oh, the end game you save the princess, like most RPGs. Oh, oh, oh okay, okay, okay. I, yeah. got, I got confused. My yeah. Bad. yeah, this one, it's not so much about like, you save the princess early, and then it's like, but the world is being destroyed by these fiends. Now that's what you got to go do, take care of all the fiends and save the world. Saving the princess is just like your first quest that you do kind of early, which we'll do later. Oh, same thing. Just another uh, version of that same thing. But here you can see it says like character design, scenario writer, programmer. All of them are pretty famous these days, but, but it's just cool. This is a Nintendo Power poster. That looks like much like a much better American box art. Yeah, yeah, that's true. And this is this is more example of like that whole like medieval fantasy style that we would have seen very common back that, then. That's what I'm saying. That's yeah. why it, it looks like it would have been perfect for the box art. Yeah. So yeah, you got this orb, the floating floating city which basically is like the end game stuff if i were to compare the two if i saw this and then the actual box art we got yeah i'd be very much more likely to pick up this one. Oh yeah definitely this was uh nintendo power so 1990 nintendo power issue tw number 12 uh and i'll flip through a couple of these pages but this is the first page where welcome to a world where <laughs> fantasies become living reality That's kind of cool. <clears throat> so this was just uh, one of the simple starter guide type of things that they put in the regular Nintendo Power before they released the the big strategy guide that I showed you. Mm -hmm. But it helps, like you know, when you back then when you had Nintendo Powers and stuff, you could flip through and get general stuff about the story. You know what's coming up next, because RPGs back then you had to pretty much talk to everybody to figure out what you're supposed to go next or who you're supposed to see next. And a lot of the NPCs just said the same thing because they're like they didn't want to. Not every NPC had a different dialogue, you know. Mm -hmm. So if you missed the wrong, if you missed someone you needed to talk to and didn't know where to go next, sometimes you know. So things like this could be helpful just to point out, hey, you know, first part, second part, third part. Yeah, you know? pretty cool though. This this pic, you know, it's a cool picture. This is Garland. He's uh, he's Garland. the first boss who we're gonna fight, but he becomes uh important later. For you know, early in the game, he's like kind of a pushover, but. You, re you revisit him again later. Yeah, Garland. Yeah, it probably wouldn't matter to me. I suck at RPG games. <laughs> if it's not Pokemon, I'm terrible at it. Yeah, so in this cool, uh, the first area, once you, well, like I said, we'll play it in a little bit, but once you beat, uh, once you help the king slash princess in the first area, then they finish like building the bridge so you can get into the rest of the game. You're kind of stuck on this continent until you do that. So there's just one way to keep you from going and getting murdered basically <laughs> and it goes on it tells you more things uh you know visit visit matoya the, the the uh she's a battling the pirates what do you call it she's a um witch a witch you gotta go help her she needs her crystal eye or whatever it's called her all-seeing eye you know yeah the pirates you go and you fight them in the town and once you beat them then you can all of a sudden use the pirate ship or use a ship if you want to call it because before, at that point, you're kind of landlocked again. So then yeah. you need the ship to then go through the sea to get to the next port, you know. So, I mean, it was pretty linear, obviously. Most RPGs oh, were. Oh, it's a NES but, game. Yeah, but it's like you kind of, and sometimes, sometimes that's a good thing, you know. Yeah, you deal with elves, dwarves. That's, Astros is a dark elf character. Elf princess, prince awakes. Oh, seeking the TNT. This part's cool. So uh, you end up getting TNT and you give it to these guys that are uh, basically blow up 
there's a connecting piece of land. You're like initially when you have the ship, the pirate ship, you're in an inland sea. Yeah. So you can't get out world. You can just oh, go just to like all the stuff. Just like a really inland. huge lake. Well, it's just an inland sea. Think of uh, what do you call it? Mediterranean Sea. Yeah, a really huge lake. Well, that's still a giant sea, but yeah, but you're basically an inland sea, and then you you basically use the, they use the TNT and they blow up a little part of the connecting land in this one area which oh, opens they up like, and they like connect it to the actual yeah ocean. so then the, then the inland outland sand o- oh, seas that's, open so that's awesome yeah so then you could take your your ship out to that other would create places. a lot that would need a lot of tnt to do that yeah maybe to create something like a, <laughs> create something deep enough for the boat to actually go through yeah that's insane let's see what's after that you end up getting oh yeah you end up getting a canoe so then you can uh, go up rivers because before that you couldn't go up rivers or anything then you end up get, uh, going into a volcano, which is cool because that's where, well, the Earth Cave is the first fiend. The volcano is the second fiend. And um, you end up eventually getting this, which is the uh, airship, which is pretty awesome. It's, in, it's, it's like buried in the desert. And you, this game released in the 90s, right? Yeah. Well, in America in 1990, yeah. There's a lot of 90s games that have airships. Yeah, because of this. <laughs> Is oh, really? That, is it because of this? Well, this was like the first one like that you did that. You're like, okay, well, I mean, you've had ships like in Dragon Quest and stuff. But this, it was like, hey, you got a ship and you got a boat for... Ship for water, boat for, for rivers, for places that are landlocked. Yeah. Thing. And then it's like, oh, you know what? Now the last thing you need is an airship to get to places that none of those other things can get to. You know what I mean? So it was pretty cool about how they did it. And yeah, after this came out, a lot of, a lot of games did that, that kind of stuff. I mean, in other Final Fantasy games... They even added like snowmobiles and stuff to get through like I mean, snow places. If it's popular. Alright, here we go. The world is veiled in darkness. The wind stops. The sea is wild and the earth begins to rot. The people wait their only hope, a prophecy. When the world is in darkness, four warriors will come. After a long journey, four young warriors arrive, each holding an orb. So that's how it starts. New game. So here's the starting thing, like I said, where you can choose. Oh, you, you could only choose a red mage? <laughs> no. See? You change them. Oh, okay, sick. So the thing is, there's a couple things about this. First off... I thought these were like the ones you chose. No. So first off, you're pretty much going to put fighter first. There's a few reasons for this. Unless you feel like screwing around and rerunning it and trying different things. Because how this game was programmed, mm-hmm. the first person gets 50% of the time gets attacked. The second person, I think, twenty five percent of the time gets attacked. Then the third and fourth are around twelve and a half percent of the time. So okay. you want your biggest, strongest defensive character first, which is a fighter, because they're going to eventually become knights. So let's start this fighter. Um, we're going to name them. We're going to name them Cheese. But see, you only have four characters, so you got to like. So we can do like, we can do Chez. <laughs> or we can do, or we can do Chiz, maybe Chiz or Chez. What do you think is better, Chez? I, I kind of like Chez. Chez. All right, let's do Chez. And then. Or you do Ch- You could have done Cheesy and then Zero. Well, the next one's gonna be. Uh, I, I think I'm gonna do Cheese and then Hero. So you can choose whoever you want. Obviously, blah 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 blah. Thief. I I, I don't. I don't never really gotten big into using them because they're not like the new thieves in the games where you can like steal stuff and all yeah. this stuff. I mean, he becomes a ninja and stuff. And I, I think they're probably all right. But for me, it was always either having two fighters or having a fighter and a black belt. Early game, I used to play two fighters, like when I was a kid. Mm-hmm. But then later, I realized the black belt does massive damage once you really? start leveling him up and doesn't use any weapons. Early game, he uses weapons until he starts getting a few levels. And then you literally don't equip him with anything. And he does way more damage than the fighter later on. And he still can take a licking. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab a black belt for now. We're going to call him Hero. Just to keep going. So after that, I used to always do Black Mage, White Mage. And that's fine. And you can do that. And it's it's awesome. Because then you get Black Mage can get the highest, best Black Mage spells. White Mage can get all the highest, best White Mage spells. Mm Mm-hmm. Um, the only thing is they also don't do a lot of damage because they're just like trying to hit like lower stuff. Again, early game, they do, they do well, but 
mid and late game, they, their damage is crap. It's basically relying on spells, and yeah. you have limited spells per day, you know what I mean? So if you only have three spells at level one, or so you know, spell two slots. spells level one. Yeah. Wait, combined? Oh, you know what? Hold on, can I go back? I'm gonna actually put Red Mage here first. Because early game, um, the Red Mage can wear some armor, or Black Mage, or Black Belt. I'll put Black Belt here. Black Belt um, doesn't doesn't do that. Let's see, he could be optimal. Opti. Hmm. That's how I always. M. That's how Optim. I always abbreviate. I always say Opti. With an I. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that works. Opti. Okay. I mean, I used to sit here and like plan out my characters' names like days in advance. Like when I used to play this game back in the day, I'd be like, okay, I'm gonna name it, you know, these names. And usually one was always Josh, because you know. Yeah. So then what I usually would do is grab a white mace just because then I have a healer. And in early game, he actually does good. Um, he beats people with hammers and stuff. Uh, so I'm just gonna make him melon, because that'd be easy. And I could do M-E-L-N. That's basically melon. Yeah, that's central. Melon. No one. So we have fighter, red mage, black mage, and white mage. That's how I'll start. All right. So basically, here's your starting uh, towns and that's a city. town. These are towns. That's the king uh, castle. But before I go in there, we can kind of look at our stuff just to give you an idea. So items, we don't have any right now. Magic, you can select. Right now I don't have any magic and I'll show you that, but you see under magic it says two, then zero, 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 zero. Yeah. It's saying that he's got two slots of level one spells. At this level, which everyone's level one, he can cast a level one spell twice. So that's what that is. Um, obviously you know what HP MP is. We don't have any yeah. weapons or armor or any of that, so I'm not even going to worry about that. But I start off with 400 gold so I can at least grab some gear before I go. And those orbs are the ones that are completely blank right now or clear or empty or void or whatever you want to call those it. Those ones that the hero started with? Yeah, we have those four orbs. They're dark, but as you go through the game and you beat the fiends, which mm -hmm. right now in the game, they have no idea, but I'm just giving you a heads up. Um, then they light back up again and you need yeah. to light them back up because they help with fixing the world. Sick, worlds. okay. Because they basically like, you know, the earth one is what's, the earth's rotting. It's because there's an earth fiend that, you know, is screwing things up. So we got to get the orbs. Only the, the earth avatar, orb. master of all four orbs. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so first thing we'll probably do is go talk oh, to the... Oh, it came off. So, first castle. We just talked to a couple is people. Is it supposed to be like, screen tearing like that? That's because it's emulator. And oh, it's okay. It's like pixel moving. Okay, It okay. wouldn't do that in the real game. The king is looking for the light warriors. You do not happen to be them, do you? Oh, how did you know? We're the light warriors. You don't happen to be the... I feel like that's not correct English. You don't happen to be them, do you? I don't know. It sounds off. It could be right, but it just sounds weird. See, these guys, all three of these guards are just saying the same thing. But here's the king. Light warriors, just as Lucan's prophecy, Garland has kidnapped the princess. Please help her. So basically, like, this sage Lucan, which you'll eventually meet, Time to go fight must Bowser. have been like, Hey, you better watch out with your princess, because that one guy, uh, he's going to steal her. And they're like, eh, whatever. And then guess what? He stole her. Dang. Reports say that Garland holds the princess in the temple to the northwest. So, I mean, again, back in this game, like, stuff like this would have been helpful. However, right now, it technically, you don't have to talk to anybody because there's only one other place you can go. And, and that's the tower? That, yeah, it's up up there to that, that temple. There's, like, an old abandoned temple. So. Nothing. I accidentally just clicked select, or as I was walking, I just pressed it, and it said, nothing here. Oh, another thing, these stairs... Are awesome because when you walk on them they actually take you to the next place I know that's like a normal thing in games right yeah however in the original Dragon Quest mm -hmm. which came obviously before this I think a uh, handful of years whatever uh, when you walked up to the stairs you had to click select uh, option not option uh, whatever you press your your option button then say stairs because there was a very that's... options that would come up like talk would come up you know, to stairs. the stairs? Yes. Yeah, no, I mean, if you're in front of a person, you had to actually click and say, talk. You know what I mean? Oh, here's something funny. Come up here, watch this. Oh, wait, this is... Yeah, never mind. She's actually the fixed one. Oh, that's right. They fixed her. Well, that's probably because this is emulated. No, there it is. 
The princess was looking for you. Yeah, yeah. So what? So in the MSX version, the MSX2 version, there's actually a girl here. That's why I got confused by that girl. <laughs> but obviously, we never got that in North America, so we always just thought it was a ghost or an invisible thing. <laughs> because when when it trans, you know, when I when I did it in this version, it it's they just they lost her. That's amazing! Yeah. Oh my gosh. Garland used to be a good knight until dun dun dun. So Garland's the guy that he did. Actually, I, I love things like that in video games. Yeah. I always look forward to like visible wall guy. It, I always look forward to like how well. What's the word I'm looking for? Like um, things that slip by production. Yeah, I love those things. I know they're always great. In sadness, the queen locked herself inside. Oh no! Slam. She didn't lock the door very good. I am Jane, Queen of Corneria. Please save my daughter, Princess Sarah. That's the name it, it's called through all of them, right? Well, who, what? Corneria. Corneria? See, I always thought it was Cornelia, and then I was reading the thing and it said Corneria, and I was like, I swear, no, it does say Corneria in here. I think I just, as a kid, I must have read it wrong. It does say Corneria even in this book, okay. Cornelius. Because I always just thought it was Cornu Cornelia. That, that's not the name of the planet, right? What's the name of the... No, that's just the name of the... Do, is that, isn't that a recurring place in Final Fantasy? Oh, I'm sure. Dude, a lot of the names and stuff get reused. Um, uh, a lot of the names and characters and creatures and things. Because, like, literally everything I know about Final Fantasy is <laughs> from 7. Oh. Because, I, yeah, I know you got me oh, that, uh, that copy of, what was it, 13? Yeah. Final Fantasy 13. But I never got past the second boss. It was the second, like, big fight. Yeah, 13 is hard to just jump in and not, like... You have to pretty much just die for that game. Yeah. <laughs> I, I had no idea what I was doing. Yeah. And all my knowledge it's of fun. Final Fantasy comes from Smash Brothers. Yeah. With Cloud and Zephyroth. Yeah, I believe it. So, in... Obviously, that's where you go, like, when you want to save the game and you want to heal up your party. You know, you go to there and you can rest and sleep and save. So, that's what N is. <clears throat> well, we can talk to people and see what they say. I am Ar Arilan, the dancer. Cool. Nice. Awesome. Warriors, revive the power of the orbs. How do you know the orbs exist? Well, I mean, that's people, I guess, know about that. But the thing is, how did he know we're the warriors? The guy inside the castle were like, are you the warriors? Yeah, I mean, that's also a fair <laughs> point. So um, this is where you buy weapons. Obviously, that's where you buy armor. Um, let's go buy some stuff because I have nothing right now. So I'll be punching people. Oh, we're, all, we're already all together? Yeah, yeah. I Just, didn't even know that. I thought we had to go find them. No, you literally start off right there in the grass. Like, and have never been to this, like, this... I don't know. There's not really a backdrop. It's just like, you arrive with the four that's, orbs. That's just so strange. Yeah, but I never... I, I guess this is, like, the first in the series. You can't really yeah. blame it that much. Yeah, you don't have any kind of... You don't... These characters don't have any backstory. It's just... It's you, you know what I mean? It's like you're yeah, playing yeah, these yeah, games. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, hey, you were just dropped into this I world and you have these orbs. Now do something. I can't <laughs> believe the first Final Fantasy is an isekai. Basically, yeah. <laughs> Essentially. That's what I was thinking too. So um, what I do is I'll give these wooden nunchucks to Opti. And then I will give rapiers to... The weapons are cheap to start off, but the armor is a little bit expensive. So let me make sure I bought... I gotta pay attention because you can actually screw this up. Not really. I mean, you can actually buy too many. It's not like the old, like newer ones where you can say buy two, buy three. Iron hammer for for melon. Let's go. I got a hammer. Yeah, basically that's what he uses is like canes and hammers and stuff. But hammer does damn pretty decent damage. All right, let's see. So to equip them, is there weapons. Is there an axe? Or axes later. You gotta give you gotta give Melon an axe if you can. Uh, well, nah, he won't be able to equip it because he's a dang it. Yeah, he, he he's a uh, mage or white mage. They can't equip this stuff. Darn. So like I said early game uh, giving him uh, the nunchucks is pretty good, but later game literally just take off weapons and armor. And he just beats the freaking crap out of people. Jesus. I mean, so much damage. It's awesome. So yeah, rapiers for these guys. Uh, we need to give a little bit of armor. I think I just need two armors. Let's see. Cloth, wooden, and chain. So wooden armor, chain armor. Normally, like, cloth armor is good for the mage. Uh, but the thing is, again, he's at the bottom, so hopefully he doesn't get hit or doesn't get hit as frequently. So I we just ignore him, and you don't need armor really for the black black mate, uh, black belt for now. Mm -hmm. But the first two are the ones that are going to get hit frequently. 
So we're gonna stick some chain on those two. And then I gotta equip it real quick. I'm just kind of doing it quick to get us going. The, this, the way the menus are laid out seems very counterintuitive. Oh, I, I think maybe I is know. that the word? I don't think that's the word. I I, I, I think that's it's the wrong. Straightforward, at least. I mean, yeah, I guess, but like having to go and buy it from the shop, and then. I have to exit the shop just to equip it and then go back in the shop to buy more. Yeah, but see, that's the things you're learning. You're not used to playing these old yeah, RPGs. Yeah, I'm, I'm not. So I'm different. really not. You but, can definitely hear the difference. Yeah, but that's okay. I mean, that's that's something you're seeing that's different. So, but yeah, I mean, there was usually a lot more steps and a lot more clicking involved and stuff. Like that. They've, over the years, and even to this date, they're still doing it, are making quality of life improvements to games, speeding them up, yeah. making traveling easier like with fast travels and stuff like that you know all the stuff that just allows you to get in the game play and have fun you know rather than get in the game and just kind of you know take forever to grind through things you know back yeah. in the day things were very grindy so all right so black on the left where i'm at now that's black magic on the right that's white magic essentially um i don't think i need any black ma magic spells yet uh only one who could do it would be hero but just so you can see See, fire level one, sleep level one, lock level one, and lit lock level one. So lit was lightning, slept yeah. is sleep. <laughs> fire <laughs> fire is good and lightning is good. I think those are the only two I ever buy um, because, again, you have sp spell slots. So lock is a, a bugged one. It doesn't actually work. There's Really? <laughs> there's, a, there's a lot of them in this game. Are you serious? Um, That's amazing. There are uh, several, several um, spells that are supposed to do things that either do it don't work at all or there's one that works the opposite um what i forgot mean? what spell it is there's uh off the top of my head i forgot there's a spell that you're supposed to uh boost your uh or sorry lower the enemy's evasion right if you cast this on an enemy it lowers its evasion or whatever um instead what it does it doubles their evasion <laughs> oh my god <laughs> and then there's spells that just pretty much always miss and that's amazing yeah now again this is old old school um, the, the designer of that, um, Nashir, whatever, not designer, the programmer, uh, I forgot his last name now. At the time, this was the, the first RPG he ever, you know, designed. Yeah, uh, that's, well, that's what I'm saying. You can't really blame it for having yeah. these faults. And they did, they did what they could. And I think some things work better. I, if I remember some of the things, spells and stuff like that would work better on the MX2 version, which again was the original, uh, the original program version. What's the MX2? It's an old, it looked like, uh, you know, the old floppy disks? No. Okay, well, <laughs> it basically used old floppy disks to play. Um, you'd have to look it up. But it had, instead of game disks, like cartridges, it had floppy disks, like computers. And you'd put it in there and play them, and then you'd, you'd have to put in a different floppy to save your game and stuff, so. That sounds very... But yeah, so we're not going to buy these yet. Um, but we do want some healing, so we're going to go to light... We're going to say Melon, so you can do Cure, Harm, Fog, and Ruse. Well, which one of these don't work? Uh, I think Ruse doesn't work at all. <laughs> uh, fog, I believe, I don't, I don't even remember what Ruse does, but Fog, I think, does work sometimes, but it's like, get like sometimes it's like, what's again, if I'm a white mage and I can only cast two Cure spells, I'm probably not going to waste one of those spells on, you know, possibly, you know, uh, affecting enemies. Harm's cool because it hurts, um, it hits every creature on the uh, screen yeah. and when you're fighting undead it actually does pretty good. Um, but I don't know if I'm gonna need to use it. What I'm gonna do is give him cure. Who would I give it to? Oh I already gave it to him. Now who will learn the spell? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me make sure. See I was talking not paying attention. Yeah. Did I actually give him Maybe you give it a melon. Okay, good. I did. Okay. So he did learn it. I do want, uh, I do want Hero to learn it too, and then we'll go fight some stuff, um, and then we'll come back because I'll probably grab Harm uh, as like a just in case thing. Hold on a second. We only have a hundred gold left. I know. Hero. I want Hero to buy Cure. And now we are broke. Good thing we don't have a house. 
All right, I did that right, okay. Yeah, so now we're basically broke. Um, but I'll go fight some stuff and level up and then we'll... So here's one of the... Oh, I love how, I love in video games how you just level up and you get money. Yeah, well, you get money from killing monsters in this one. So this is the clinic. Mm -hmm. This is where if someone dies or whatever, you revive them. This is one of the places that would have been con would have been considered a church or whatever in the original. Oh, okay. And see, it's a heart on there. Yeah. Um, and this is basically potion items, um, antidotes. That the kind general of shop. Yeah, item shop. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go fight some monsters. Yeah, I did not think you were going to be able to walk through that. Yeah, this is the forest. It makes usually... So imps are the first, in this game, imps are the first uh, monsters you fight. Most games, there's always like a starting game, starting thing. A lot of times in Final Fantasy, like imps are there kind of like first thing. You can thing. fight up to nine things at once. Yeah, or some uh, large creatures will take up multiple squares. Good so, lord. So like if you're fighting a giant, it'll probably, I think it takes up four of the squares, for instance. That's crazy. Yeah, so because they're the sprite limits and stuff, but it's pretty cool. But yeah, so as I say, the starting in starting in Final Fantasy, that you usually fought imps. You know, in like other games like Dragon Quest, if you fight slimes, that's like your first thing. And then yeah. there's other RPGs where it's like go fight the rats. You know what I mean? Well, this one it's like always little imps. The skeletons block your path. Yeah, basically. Oh, also, I'm just gonna keep telling you stuff as it comes up. If you click, if you click two people on one, and the first one kills them, the second guy just hits nothing. He misses it. Really? <laughs> yeah. So That's... that was part of the strategy in this one is to know, um, plan out who's probably going to kill it or how many it's going to take to kill it, you know? So I'm going to spread them out for now. See, she, there you go. Melon Good killed him with the hammer. Let's go, Melon. Critical. Damn. Oh, that's a D. Okay, I thought they were doing like 400 something damage. No, no, no. D. Okay. Three, yeah, 32. Okay. I 18. read that completely wrong. Yeah, so even Melon with the 14 hammer kills these guys, which is nice. Without the hammer, you know. So now I can just tell everyone to attack it because it doesn't matter. Also cool thing, you see the background of the trees? I'm in the trees, so they change the background. Yeah. And if you're in the grass, it's different. When you're in the desert, it's different. When you're in a cave, it's different. That's that's also kind of cool. Cool. I mean, I like that. That's a good, that's like an easy way to do it for when you mm -hmm. can't actually like be there. Yeah. So I got some gold. I mean, it's better experience. than what po it's better than what Pokemon did for the first game. Yeah. And then again, that was the GBA, and this is essentially the NES. Yeah. Uh oh yeah, I forgot to. So we obviously have fight, magic, drink is the, is to drink like potions, like healing potions, whatever. Items, I think, switching items and running is running. So, but watch the animations. That's another really cool thing I liked about this. Um, growing up even just because not. I like how the white mage has no oh so you get the attack kind of thing but then watch when my guys attack you get he's got a sword so he's using a sword yeah uh watch uh, I watch saw, it's it's very interesting yeah but I like how the white mage just doesn't have a walking animation he just slides yeah because his legs are under the rope but see he had nunchucks so he swung nunchucks he's got a hammer he swung hammer that to me when I was a kid that was cool even the swords like when you get some of the other swords, like, I don't know, Giant Slayer or, or Giant Sword, I started to call it, the the Werebane, or there's a couple different weird swords. The colors will change when you equip those. Oh, so it might be a red sword or a blue sword, you know. It's actually really cool. Yeah. I just got to watch my health. and um, I'm fighting up here because there's usually higher amounts of imps up here, where if you go down in the lower area, it's like uh, you might fight like two, you know. Mm -hmm. I just want to get to level two kind of quick. Um, and some more money. Oh, there's a wolf. One damage. One damage. We'll take it. And he got murdered. <laughs> Good lord. These are only doing one damage. You're doing like 40. <laughs> and you have to put... You can't press right or left to select those. I'm actually having to press up and down to get to the other ones here. Oh, that's gross. Yeah, you gotta think it was like columns, you know? <laughs> that's actually, that's really gross. Yeah. I'm like trying to press right and left and I just can't do it. I'm like, oh yeah, let's go down. Let's see, did I get enough to level up? Let's see. I don't know how much I needed. Nope, let's see. We can check how, many I, how much more I need just so we have an idea. I probably want more fight. Yeah, one more pretty much. Seven more. Some more experience, but one more of those battles will will get me up there. So, which is good. I need. Hopefully, hopefully I'll have enough money then to 
get that one spell and I want a little bit of money to heal. Uh, go to the inn and heal. Oh, mad pony. I didn't know I was going to find one of these. It looks mad like a unicorn. Pony? That looked like a bird at first. Well, it's it's like a horse. You yeah, see that I, now? I see that now. Oh, okay. But when it first popped up, I was like, is that an eagle? What is that? Yeah, to be honest, when I, even when I was a kid, there was a couple sprites that parts of them, I didn't understand what it was actually was. So in my head, I made it up to, as something else. And then later when I would see like remakes or something like that, yeah. I would see like the artwork and what it was supposed to look like. And I'm like, oh, that's not an eye. That's his teeth or that's not his, <laughs> ha that's not his hair. That's his hands or whatever. There's a couple of those. Um, I don't remember off the top of my head which one's there. So this is only, this area I'm in, he shouldn't be here. But where I'm at, I'm close to that next, the water of the next area, which is where he actually would come from, him and the wolves. Oh, okay. And since I'm close enough to it, what happened was, another thing that happened was, in the MX2 version of it, um, they were, the grid lines of where monsters were, they kept those when they made, when they remade this version or whatever. Mm -hmm. But what they did was they slightly moved some of the things around in this version. So uh, some of the land uh, map, the outer world maps. That's really cool, actually. Yeah, just a little bit, but enough that there are very, very small areas there. You might go to the edge of a continent and run around and pick up a monster from the one that you aren't supposed to get to yet or something. That's really cool, actually. Yeah, and, and that's why this guy just attacked me. But the four of us should have no problem killing him, hopefully. Yeah, he hit him pretty hard. Very. So as long as I can hit him before he, he hits Melon, Good job, Melon. I don't know how, he might he might hit Melon hard enough to kill him, so I don't know. But if he hits Cheese or his Hero, we're good. Oh, no. there we go. <laughs> well, the one guy. There saying. goes Melon. Well, guess what? We get to go resurrect now. <laughs> I'm glad I could be of service. And I just said that. I just jinxed it. I said, as long as he doesn't hit Melon, we'll be okay. And who does he <laughs> hit? The one guy that he has the least chance of, least chance of hitting. No, he hit him twice, but that's okay. <laughs> but see, he had armor, so he didn't hit him that hard. He didn't do much damage. How strong is this thing? Good well, Lord. the problem is I'm missing, too, because he's he's a higher level. I sh you're not really supposed to fight this guy at level one. <laughs> oh, okay. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, usually by the time you get up to fighting these guys, everyone's two or three, you know? Which, I mean, back then, that was a big deal. There we go. There 31 we go. terminated. Now what's going to suck is these three are going to level up and Melon's not because he's dead. Awesome. <laughs> so he doesn't get experience. And I have to go res him. That's okay. But yeah, look, 21 points of experience. I was getting like seven, eight, I think, from the other guys. 15 gold. Let's see, strength up. Uh, agility up. Oh yeah, look, his max HP is now 59. I currently have 29, but I don't know what my max was. Max, My max was only a little bit more than that before. I think it was like 32. Yeah, that's probably right. So it, it's, it's that's a good chunk, you know. Yeah. Hero, 52 now. <laughs> Vitality, luck up. Luck is another stat that's just completely broken in this game. Like you have it, but it doesn't work. So. Oh, is that like? Oh, maybe it's not luck. Uh, it's intelligence for black mage. You're supposed to have your <laughs> base damage of, of attack damage. Uh, black's magic spells are supposed to be based on your intelligence score. Are you serious? But your intelligence score doesn't actually affect it. So. Are you serious? Yeah. So that's the, amazing. Yeah. That's just another kind of. Glitch. Now I these things, problems. like when you had this game back in the day, you didn't know that. It's stuff you found out much later. I didn't know growing up. That, 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 that's another thing. How did someone figure that out? Well, I'm sure they ran through enough to, you know, uh, to see what the odds were and feel, realize that stuff's not working and stuff. I mean, I guess, but like still. Well, later, I mean, you can data mine games and pull up stuff and well, while that's you're running. Later. No, back I know. Then, I then, how did they figure that out? Yeah, um, people play this game so many times. I'm sure they figured it out. Who shall be revived? Melon. 40. Oh my god, that's expensive. All right. They're not going to be able to get the spell? No, I just dumped... I literally had enough money for what I needed and I dumped it. Oh well. Return to life. You do not need my help now. Well, you know what? I'm just not going to get the spell. That's okay. What I'm going to do, though, is go in here and heal and save in case I get murdered. Oh, I need to get Melon to level 2. I don't have to, but he'll, yeah, he'll get there as I'm going up yeah. there. All right, do I want to stay? Yes, it's gonna be 30 gold. Okay, don't forget to leave your, your name. That's how you save, leaving your name. <laughs> Hold reset. So at this point, it's saved, and if you wanted to turn it off, this is when you would turn it off. There's definitely some kid 
that ha thought they had to do that every single time they saved. Reset it? Yeah. Because they, cause it just tells you to do Maybe. that. It doesn't tell you can leave. Yeah, possible. Alright, now we're gonna head up here. Hope I don't get destroyed. Oh yeah, these guys. So this is just a, a you know, a, a pixel, what do you call it? Color Gradient. swap. Yeah, color swap. Oh, I, like the, I like the purple for it a lot better than the orange. Yeah. But it's to let you know this is like the, the boss. Not really a boss, but the, the next one up. But you only gotta fight one, so it's not that hard. <laughs> so. Well, there it goes. Yeah. Let's see how much let me see how much he gets experience for fighting one of those. Probably not a lot. Four. Okay, one more one more kill and melon will hit the next level. The first boss really isn't that tough, so it was just more that you're there's skeletons in there. So having that harm spell could be good if you get if you actually like have to fight a whole group of skeletons yeah. rather than just like three of them or something. Oh, we have two two of them this time. I'm just gonna spread these attacks out because I think that's gonna be fine. Two and two. That actually worked out because he's gonna murder that that one's face. And Hero should murder the other one's face because Melon won't, but that's okay. As long as he doesn't miss, Hero will kill him. And there's a couple treasure chests Boom. up here in this next one. Ten. All right, good job. Let's go, gang. And that fanfare. Dun, 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 dun. Is that in this one? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's in all of them then. Yeah, pretty much. It was just became a staple. Well, I mean, all a lot of the music and stuff that was used in this one, like the intro music, uh, interlude or whatever, uh, it was used and you know remastered and stuff and changed up slightly and altered. But I mean, they pretty much kind of used a lot of those things throughout all the games. They became staples. Just like, you know, in this one they're called orbs, but they're basically crystals. Mm -hmm. Going forward, it's pretty much all crystals. Everything has something to do with crystals. You know, from here forward, there's always airships. Um, there's these, these staple classes somehow or another in most of the games, whether you call them that or not. Yeah. They add more later too, but Chocobos in the second one. Uh, and then from there on, they're pretty much everywhere. So I need to go, I think, over here. Yeah, over here to get this treasure. This is the first, like, mini dungeon. I found a hat. It's called a cap. So I can equip you with a cap. Now he's got better defense since he's going to more than likely get hit the most. Oh, I forgot about these guys. What the heck Hope is he doesn't that? poison me. What is that thing? He's a creep. I don't know what it actually is, is, but to me as a kid, I always said it was like, it's, Bro, got, it's got the big mouth. It's got some big lips. Yeah, big teeth, big lips, and it's got these like tentacle looking eye things sticking out of the side of it. But uh, I always assume it's like some kind of plant that wants to eat you. And I, uh, the, not this one, but the ones you fight later, um, when they hit you, they can poison you. And being poisoned in this game sucks. Because oh my gosh! Good lord! <laughs> Why are they well, picking on Melon's Melon? Melon's dead. Oh my god! Like Melon should be the last one getting hit. And every time I find a monster that's slightly hard, they're just like, you know what? That <laughs> Melon, Melon right there dies. looks delicious. That stinks. Well, I'll go here. I'll go bring him back because he needs to fight the boss. Healing potion and a cabin. Cabins and tents are cool, so what they do is when you're in the outworld, it allows you to use that to heal up and save. Because if you're far from a freaking town, and you're really low or have issues going on, you, yeah. know, you can save while you're in the outworld. That's the only way you can save from without going to an end. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Uh, the tents, I think it gives you and a you little bit of And you can't reuse them, can you? What do you mean? No, no, it's a one-time use. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So dropping a tent or cabin, you use it and it's gone, basically. I'm glad they just developed the save option. <laughs> Well, I was saying earlier about the... Uh, oh, here's some bones. Yo, generic skeleton enemy number one. Yeah, and the, I don't know if that... In their hand, I always assumed that was a bone in their hand. Like, they're using another bone to beat you with. Because I don't think it's like a sword. Because see how they're like the end's yeah. got that divot in it? Oh, hopefully... Uh, I just put two on that guy, so hopefully... <laughs> I shouldn't have done that, but that's okay. Kill him. All right, good. I was like, because if Hero didn't kill him, Opti's going to hit nobody, so. I didn't plan it out very good. At least you're getting to see a few different monsters before yeah. you know, we get too far into the game. Oh, oh my god. 
That's a great woof. That's a lot of dogs. I did not mean to do that. I meant to do this. We should be fine as long as they watch their damn health. I might need two people on the Great Wolf, but I don't know. So I'm just going to attempt to go this route. If Cheese doesn't kill him, then the next time I'll have like Opti or something hit him for the, the rest. Yep, didn't kill him. It's probably close though. But I knew those two would kill the other wolves. Oh, he didn't kill that wolf. Oh, jeez. Well, then maybe just to be safe, I'll have you kill that one. And let you finish that one off. Lucky I got to go before they all just attack me. <laughs> oh, here we go. But that was part of the strategy of this is like when you're playing, you know what I mean? Like you had to like plan It's out, still not dead. Plan. Oh my God. Plan out who's going to go. Who's? Oh, and you missed. <laughs> That's okay. If they're hitting me for one, it's not a problem. We're okay. Well, the Great Wolf hasn't attacked yet. Missed. Missed. There we go. Oh, well, never mind. Well, he attacked me and I have a hat on, so... <laughs> He's like, I'm gonna attack you. You got a cap. Shit, he should be dead now. I hope. If they hit it. Did you miss? I wasn't paying attention. I think they... Well, maybe he didn't... Oh, he hit him, but he didn't kill him. Ooh, missed. Nice. Just the, does the cap like raise evasion? No, I mean I just increased the defense. I'm just make, I was making a joke. Like you know, I walked in, put a hat on, and now this great wolf missed me. You know. <laughs> Got it. Yeah, they're all missing. Well, being leveled up and having all that armor on probably helps. There we go. We're getting somewhere. That should be it. Thirty-six damage. Let's go. All right. Now, when I played this when I was a kid, I used to just grind like crazy. I didn't. <laughs> hey, we can get the yeah, spell now. I get the spell. I didn't. Uh, I didn't go. Okay, let me push it. You know, I wouldn't be like, oh, I got one level. Let's go. I would be like, no, let me make sure I got, you know, all the spells, some extra items, and all. You know, I would grind out stuff. But as an adult, I'm just like, I don't, I don't care. I just try to get some stuff done. All right, so Melon. I would not give it to Melon. He's already died twice. Melon wants. I would not give it to Melon. <laughs> Yeah, but I probably even need it to be honest. But M Melon's proven that he cannot stand up the for longer is, than a minute. The thing is, this is level one. So, for instance, if I if I give it to uh, my red mage, because the thing is, my red mage can hit pretty hard. So Melon can cast harm and he can get an attack. That's in. true. Plus, you only have a certain amount of actual. You can only have three known spells at each level. So even though there's four white mage spells, you can only know three. And with the red mage, since he can do black and white, that limits. Oh, so I can okay. do two and okay. two or one That's... and three. So it's best to at least give him in case I need it. Give it to Melon. Probably won't need it, but. Did I just hold on? I was talking. I'm like, I don't think I, I don't think I learned it. But let me just make sure because if I learned it, I'm just gonna waste it. Okay, no. But see, whoops. See, he's got three. <clears throat> gotcha. Well, he's got three that he can do now. He can do three cure spells, but he can only have... There's actually... You can't see him, but there's three different columns here. So it'd be cure, then something, then something. Gotcha. So usually what I give him is lightning and fire for for him. So he's got a cure as a backup, and then he's got damage. Like He's the he's the basically the black mage of this party. That's how I... And like why him. did you choose red mage instead of black mage? Uh, because I can wear armor, use swords, and use both magics. And black mage can't? Black Mage can, no, Black Mage doesn't use swords. He uses just like staves, which is really weak. Oh, okay. um, doesn't wear any armor and can only use black magic. Okay. But he can use the best black magic later in the game. But to be to be honest, most of the time, like having the high attacking from the from the melees is, is fine. You don't usually need, you know. But it, I mean, you can, but again, that's just, that's an, it's personal, it's an option. You can play through multiple times and do different things. All right, let me get his spell before I forget. Yes. All right. So that's, again, if I run into a whole bunch of skeletons, I can dump, you know, harm, or later on when you fight zombies or whatever. All right, so we're back here. This is the guy that I need to fight, and he's got cool bats, and there's the princess. So, this is Garwin. No one touches my princess, light warriors. You impertinent fools, I, Garland, will knock you all down. So this is the first boss fight you actually have. So that's Garland. He's got his yes, cool helmet and stuff. The first boss fight of Final Fantasy. Yeah. A Christmas decoration. <laughs> the hell? 
He's supposed to be a knight. Garland. I don't know why he's got those crazy horn things on his head, but that's how he was designed. Make him villainous, I guess. A lot of knights in these kind of games are, have horns. Yeah, they had to make him look cool, I guess. Yeah. Like so Shovel Knight purple, has horns. Purple cape flying around. And my first attack Let's misses. go. Oh, he missed. He missed okay. too. It's a trade-off. Yeah, you're not going to miss Opti. Opti's going to tear him up. 24. I probably won't even need to heal unless he hits me really hard. If he hits Melon, I might have to heal. Yeah, if, if Melon gets hit, he's done for. No, I don't, he won't. I don't think he's going to hit him for 52. But he'll hit him probably pretty hard. Yeah, he's hitting Cheese for 7, but, see, but he has the best defense. Damn, Melon critted him. Let's go, Melon. Dude, he came back with vengeance. <laughs> He's like Goku, he dies and he almost dies. Zenkai and, boost. And he comes back and he's stronger and then he almost dies and he comes back. And he's, oh, dude, tore him up. I bet that's because Melon critted him. Yeah, probably. <laughs> oh, Melon. Dude. So, yeah, the first one's Pop not really that off. tough, obviously. You got a lot of gold. Now I can go talk to a bat. Kiki. I can't. Come on, move. All right, here you go. So, you are the Light Warriors, thank you. How do you know who we are? And the good thing is she teleports you back, which is nice, you don't have to walk back. How, how does she know who we are? I don't know, prophesize, remember? Oh, that's right. So the thing is, is like, most of the time, when I used to play this game as a kid, when you get to these far dungeons and beat the boss, yeah. you had to still walk all the way back, and you might be low oh. as hell on health and stuff, and that sometimes would drive me nuts, because if you died, you have to do it all you over again. You have to start from when you saved before you left town. That, or oh, if you brought like a, a if you if you oh, bought a cabin or a, a, a thing and you saved outside or whatever, but you can't save in the dungeon. So you'd have to say, start that whole dungeon battle boss. So sometimes that happened when I was a kid, and it's why as a kid I never beat this game because I'd get usually I usually get just past halfway through the game and somewhere along the line I would like be so I get far and then I die and I'd like I don't want to play for back you know I'm, I'm like two hours back I don't want to do it you know. Oh, so, but I wasn't also not that good at the game because I was a kid. So, this loot has been passed down from queen to princess for two thousand years. Garland stole it when he kidnapped me. Please accept it as my gift. It just might come in handy. You're giving us a family heirloom. Yeah, and the thing is, at this point, you have no idea what it is and what it's for until like. I I, I don't I think... don't remember if you learn what it is. Until the end of the game. <laughs> I'm going to be genuinely honest. I don't think she was supposed to give us that. Well, you need that's, it. I will, yeah, but that sounds like something that should not be given to just some warriors. Yeah, yeah I guess. You might get destroyed, right? Thank you for saving the princess. To aid your quest, I ordered the bridge to be built to the consonant. Go now and make the orb shine again. He's like, we're going to open up our borders now that you saved my daughter. Thank you for rescuing the princess. So some of these changed, but you know, not a whole lot of them. The ghost girl change? No. Well, she might say something. Yeah, she'll say something different. Let's see. So, you are the light warriors now. Oh, oh, that's what dang. she said before, I think. Uh, the queen, I think, she says something different. Like, thank you for saving my wife. Or, my kid. Let's see. Yeah, thank you for saving Princess Sarah. Sarah is a name that's reused. Well, it's a very common name. Yeah, I but know. That doesn't, but... that doesn't surprise me. <laughs> yeah. But I'm just saying it's been reused in some of the other ones. Um, I don't think there's anything else special here. Is there anything else? Ah, uh, whatever. I don't think so. Here's the bridge. Ready? It wasn't there before, but now watch this. And so, their journey begins. <laughs> that was all the introduction? Yeah, we just technically beat the introduction to the game. What awaits the four? <clears throat> they do not know. Find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> Each holding an orb that 2,000 years ago shined with beauty from within, but now only darkness. Come, start your journey. Return the light of peace to our world. Program by Nasir. See, he didn't even say his last name there. I knew it was your see Character design, your top I don't Maybe know. he doesn't have one. He does. I Scenario by uh, Kenji Tarada. That was the other guy in that picture that, you sh that they showed you. Production of Square 18. So this was before Square was Square Enix. Yes, because back then it was Square, it was Enix and Square, and they they both were just putting, they got to the point where they were both putting out tons of RPGs because that was what was selling. Uh, again, Enix was known for Dragon Quest games, Square was known for uh, Final Fantasy, plus other stuff, but yeah. 
then it was somewhere during the, I don't remember the year, but during the PlayStation era where they finally merged into one company. And then everything since then has been Square Enix, which I remember when that happened. Which is a much better name than just Square and Enix. Well, it used to be Square Soft and they shortened it to Square. Cause everything, a lot of things back then were something soft for software. So it was uh, like this soft or that soft. Enix was just his own that, I, I didn't think, whenever I hear Microsoft, I didn't, I never thought of it like that. Yeah. Like oh, meant, ogre! Oh, hello, ogre. You get to see that. See, he takes up a bigger amount of swatches. I guess it's one, it's, it's like one and a half. Yeah, one and a half. And these creeps, um, these creeps, it's two creeps and ogre. This might be a hard battle. I might not survive this, but that's okay. Let's go for it. Let's see if we can take out these creeps. Did you save stars. after you rescued the princess? Of course not. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> It's gonna be an normally, aw that's going to be an awesome way to end this normally off. Normally, that's something I would have done. And I would have bought him the spells Fire and Lit and probably used it right now. Because <laughs> now, technically, I'd have to go back because you can't buy those at the next town. The next town will have different spells. Yeah. So, But, again, I'm just playing this to show you. Uh, yeah, you know, yeah. So it doesn't matter. I'm not going to continue or anything right now. All right. So tell me, what do you what do you think about it? It's pretty, it's pretty interesting. Yeah. Like, like I said, I'm still the biggest... Like classic RPG fan, but yeah. it, it it looks yeah, interesting. But I, I like how there's a bunch of problems with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this version of it, at least. Yeah. Yeah, I, I invisible person. Yeah, it's always awesome. It's the stuff they kind of ironed out later, but yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, sprite works pretty cool. It's yeah, it's monsters, definitely pretty good. Monsters are interesting. You said story's kind of basic, but it, at the time, at the time, it was actually pretty pretty good you know, yeah compared to some of the other stuff out there it actually was a pretty decent with what, with what they could do this game is definitely pretty decent yeah yeah pretty fun well like i said it to me it's hard for me because i'm i grew up playing it so it was like yeah yeah you know, so that's why it's fun to see these to play these games and show people these games who haven't played them before and see what they think and yeah, yeah, and, yeah. and also for you and other people to see where it started because he might not, like you said, you didn't really know until like 7 and 13 were like the only kind of other uh, no, I don't even know much about 13, I'm going to be honest. Well, I, what I, mean I had is, no idea what was happening in 13. Well, I mean, is those are the only other ones you've like, had any sort of experience with. I'm not saying you knew anything about it. Yeah. It's just like you had some sort of experience the, with the it. The only thing I know about 7... Yeah, 13 is, has nothing to do with it. Yeah, yeah. The only thing I know about 7 is that there's a place called Midgar. Cloud is a big sword. Mm -hmm. There's yeah, a movie. Buster sword. And I, I literally just learned that Cloud used to idolize Sephiroth. Yeah, I just learned that yesterday from a death battle video. <laughs> uh, yeah, pretty much. But all right, well, Kupo, thanks for joining us. Of course. Oh wait, you're talking to Kupo. No, I was talking to the camera. Oh, thanks for joining us, Kupo, 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 and we'll see you on next one.